Men of Reddit, what are some things a mom should know while raising a boy? I fi out tease him about relationships at Tay on Gage, he'll never trust I auto talk about the personal matters. Another is, don't share stuff your kid told you in private with your friends. Especially not during dinner when the kid can potentially hear it. It's a breach of trust that never recovers. Don't tease your sons about any female friends, it usually leads to issues with them being unable to talk to you about things when they actually do like someone. This is one of the most important pieces of advice out there. My mom thinks every female friend I've ever had is a crush, when that's simply not the case. As such, I can't talk to her about female friends anymore. Remember going on a camping trip with several friends, both boys and girls. I had my camping gear at my front door and was getting a couple last minute things. Friends show up, one of the girl just starts loading my stuff in the car, my grandmother says to me she's cute, why don't you date her? Uck, A, she's a friend, B, she'd never date me, C, we don't have a lot in common, etc etc etc. Yeah, I remember. If you knock on his door and he says give me a minute, give him a minute, don't just walk in. My dad always knocks and he immediately opens the door. If it's early in the morning, hell just walk in assuming him still asleep. I told him it's his house and he can do what he wants, but one day hell walk in on me dick in hand and that's his problem not mine. He's respecting your privacy by knocking and asserting his dominance by going in anyway. Dinkelberg When your teenage son suddenly wants to do his own laundry let him. You do not need to be touching what he is trying to wash away. Also, you don't have to do his laundry. Win-win situation, right? It's good to be involved, but don't be overbearing. The most stressed out and repressed guys I knew growing up were always the ones whose mothers controlled every aspect of their lives. Also, have trust and tell him you love him. When he's 8 years old, if he accidentally sets fire to the living room rug. Go easy on him. Marty, such a nice name. So nice we'll name our third child that. Well you can't expect them to pass on such killer names as Dave and Linda. Encourage them to be adventurous, to take smart risks, and how to negotiate. Was raised by a very overprotective mother, I learned none of these things till middle age. I'm a 34-year-old female and was also raised this way. So unprepared for real life. Have a healthy relationship with your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever. Having a welcoming, stable, warm home is the very basis of being a positive influence on your children. Don't just focus on teaching him the good stuff, focus as well on being a role model for him. Edit, whoa. This blew up quite nicely, thank you for the support and the awards, my very first awards. This is prob the best piece of advice on here kids follow examples, not advice. Do as I say, not as I do doesn't work on children. Hell, do as I say, not as I do doesn't even work for most adults. Because it's absolute horseshit. If you're unwilling to follow your own rules, the rules are pointless and you're a hypocrite. If you and his father are not together and or you have negative feelings towards his father, don't tell him all the time how much he reminds you of his father. Also, don't plain about the other parent in front of him. Not a gender issue but seriously that can really duck with a kid especially if both parents are still in the picture. Unless the parent is a real scumbag i.e. to the point the kid shouldn't be seeing them any more than remember they love both of you and if there's anything that'll cut a kid up it's feeling like they have to choose between parents. Also, chances are when he's older he's likely to just choose neither of you and you'll wonder why he's so distant. Edit, okay so this is now my highest rated comment ever and I think my most replied to. So thank you for the medal and I'm sorry I couldn't get round to replying to everyone. That being said if you are having problems with your parents and you still live with them I'd advise you to talk to them. Do so calmly and respectfully and you have a chance of solving the problem. If not then I'd advise that you just forgive them as there is nothing to be gained by holding on to the past. While it is obviously a crappy thing to do remember that complaining about your ex is a normal and human thing to do. Despite the negative effects, your parents probably didn't realize what they were doing at the time. There is no need to blame them for something they didn't realize at the time. Despite the fact that obviously I and a lot of other people are guilty of this. If you are arguing and he retreats to his own room or outside, don't follow along continuing the argument. Young people have a hard time expressing themselves and may need time to process their thoughts. 
Men are too often given the impression that they are only allowed specific responses and unfortunately one of them is anger. As a teenager I couldn't get away from my parents when we argued and I ended up feeling trapped. I've suffered a panic attack when my mom flew off the handles the last time. Was kicked out in my underwear in minus 10. Got to go back in half an hour later completely frozen and just curled up in a corner and cried. She came up to me, took photos of me and then ridiculed me for not being a man and blamed me for destroying her life. Soon. One year. Then I'll be gone. Forever. That's absolutely ducking cruelty, you should report them. Cunts. Agreed. That's super abusive and worth getting CPS involved. Teach him to cook. My post-college roommate had his mom cook all of his meals. It was embarrassing to watch him try to operate a kitchen when he decided he wanted to make something of his own. Teach him to cook. But only if you yourself do, in fact, know how to cook. Actually knock and wait. They might not be masturbating but they still like their privacy. Otherwise they lock their door so you can't get in. They close themselves into a mental cage because you thought it was a great idea to just barge into little Timmy's room when he specifically stated that he doesn't like it when you do that. My parents got mad at me if my door was ever closed. I really liked being alone. It was horrible. Only my father ever got on my ass about it. He really didn't like closed doors. He even took the lock off the door when I was in high school for reasons? I guess. I resorted to sticking a double-A battery in where the lock used to be because his larger fingers couldn't get it out. It wasn't the greatest situation, but it worked. Even living alone I'll still lock the door to the bedroom. I really like my privacy. My family switched the lock to the other side in my sister's room. But yeah, I think we all like privacy. I had none. My phones had tracking stuff in them my car had one on it, they had cameras set up outside everywhere. Okay for security but I had nowhere to go and be alone, my door was only allowed to be open, and never locked, they snooped through my phone and destroyed a relationship. It was really bad. I haven't talked to them the same after the snooping shit. My family switched the lock to the other side in my sister's room. Yeah, fire marshal, this comment right here. Keep your promises. Especially the small ones that are easy to let slip. And when you break or slip up on one, directly acknowledge it with them and apologize while trying to make amends. Even, especially, really, if they don't remember. Raising a child that keeps their word is 100% modeling, not lecture. You have to show them how to build those skills by demonstrating them daily, while reinforcing that with direct explanation of what you're doing or thinking in relevant contexts. Simply put, don't hold them or yourself to a standard of perfection or pure honesty, expect accountability and integrity, even in failure or mistakes. It's just as important how we handle when we fail through our own mistakes as trying to avoid making them. Edit, to those who have shared their experiences, good or bad, thank you. You all deserve to have promises made to you kept. Be good to yourselves, keep being amazing, this part is easy, and know you've made someone's day better. 3. Do not take our blankets off in the morning when you try to get us to wake up. I tell my parents I sleep naked. Ever since I started no one enters without knocking and having an answer. They all think I am a naturist but complete peace of mind just by being in my room is worth it. I am a naturist but my parents just find my behavior unacceptable. I just barricade my door. I have a heavy dresser right next to my door which I, with the help of some friends modded with wheels that only move sideways. 1010 would recommend if you have parents that don't knock. Banning him from leaving the house alone at age 12 until he's 16 because there's a single pedophile in the area isn't going to give him any good habits. Rodley specific. Don't judge his GFS looks. My mom automatically assumed all of my exes with big titties had STDs. The penis grows during puberty my mom has little knowledge of male biology, when I was like 6 or 7, she teased me that my penis was too small. Of course it's small, I'm only 6, and it grows as I grow older. P.S. My wee wee isn't small anymore. What the actual duck? That's how you instantly give someone self-esteem issues.